पी आर प्लस प्रेजेंट्स मेंटल हेल्थ क्वेश्चन वी हैव इन आर हार्ट्स इट फील्स लाइक पीपल ऑलवेज ट्रीट मी लाइक आई एम डिफरेंट बिकॉज ऑफ माई डिसबिलिटी एंड दर सीम्स टू बी नथिंग आई कैन डू अबाउट इट दैट कैन बी डिफिकल्ट इट कैन बी फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग टू हैव टू कॉन्स्टेंटली एडुकेट अदर्स अबाउट हाउ वी वुड लाइक टू बी ट्रीटेड बट ट्राई टू कीप इन माइंड दैट पीपल ऑफन ट्रीट अस डिफरेंटली बिकॉज दे कम फ्रॉम अ प्लेस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस A lot of people have sometimes never interacted with someone who has disabilities. We can make it easier on ourselves if we acknowledge this larger reality so we don't take it personally. But that said, it's absolutely okay to decide how you want to handle different situations depending on how you're feeling them. Your energy levels, your intention, your motivation in that moment, you know? I know that, but I always have to make an extra effort to be liked. Maybe I am only doing something wrong. it might feel to you like it's you because people behave awkwardly with persons with disability a lot of this discomfort around interacting with people with disabilities comes from the fact that most non disabled people have not grown up around people with disabilities this could lead to ignorance which often leads to a lot of the social stigma around disability and this has nothing to do with anything you say or do Your physical disability is not a failure or limitation of you as a person. You are enough and worthy of love, care and friendship just the way you are. There are many people who will embrace you for who you are and not despite your disability. It's just about finding your tribe. Hmm? Every time I need to go out, I have to plan out every step of my journey and end up overthinking everything. Having to take all this extra effort all the time makes me exhausted and i end up cancelling plans the anxiety around stepping out can be stressful planning is helpful but it can definitely be draining but with each time that you step out you will find new jugadu ways to manage situations and you'll gain confidence from this let me explain what i mean by jugadu ways a friend of mine with disability found it tedious to search for a sanitizer bottle in their bag each time so they got one of those attachment hooks and hooked the sanitizer outside their bag for easy use You discover little tips and tricks for yourself as you step out more that might make it a little easier each time. Over time it may not require as much preparation and effort each time. Having a structure to the day and a system for stepping out can also help. And never hesitate to ask people for support when you need it. But depending on people all the time is hard and I don't feel like asking for help for so many things. Being dependent on others is not easy. The world around us celebrates individualism and self-sufficiency. We asking for help can be seen as a sign of weakness but if you think about it it's actually a sign of strength courage and resourcefulness we all depend on others in different ways emotionally socially and physically think of the multiple ways in which you are contributing to the lives of the people around you none of us were born to function independently see we must remember to have more compassion for our own selves and ask for support when we need it Sometimes I feel angry or suffocated by the people who I'm reliant on who are always around me and that makes me feel even more guilty. What can I do about this? Feeling suffocated and wanting space is natural. It's okay to ask for this, especially as you're growing into an adult. You could deal with this by trying to get physical space from each other on and off, getting out of the house, spending time alone or with a friend, or just reading, listening to music. doing something you like they can all be nice changes expanding your support circle and keeping in touch with friends who understand could also help i spend a lot of time in isolation as it is and this is making me very lonely how do i learn to enjoy spending time by myself a disability can make us feel lonely from time to time especially when surrounded by only non disabled folks but being alone and feeling lonely are two different things It's helpful to work towards building a better relationship with our own selves. We are our constant companions. Look for activities you enjoy like making art, reading, looking after plants, meditating, or just watching a movie. Developing a self-care routine can also be fun. You'll slowly start to look forward to doing these activities for your own self. Finding time for leisure itself is hard for me because I feel like I'm always working to catch up to people's expectations and standards. and when my body sometimes unable to do things i end up getting frustrated with it 
you don't need to catch up with anyone else's standards especially since they are set by an ableist society the pressure to overachieve is a common feeling that people with disabilities often wrestle with just try to remember that this need to catch up or make up for what is seen as a failure or a setback comes from these ableist standards around us try to surround yourself with people who also understand this and remind you that you're worthy of love and care regardless of these standards set your own benchmarks and celebrate little milestones as they come it's okay to rest when you need to or to take a step back and reevaluate your goals when you feel pressured do things for the joy of doing them when you feel frustrated with your body think about all that your body does do for you on a daily basis almost automatically rather than focusing on what it can't do this will help you understand your body better and build a stronger relationship with it when i'm physically sick or frustrated with my body this affects my mental health a lot too how can i prevent this from happening build a support system of friends and family who get that having a disability can impact your mental health healing is a non linear journey taking some help along the way just makes it easier if this is a challenge reach out to a therapist or a support group in case financial concerns are a barrier there are a number of free platforms and helplines offering affordable or free therapy and mental health support groups both online and offline allow yourself to rest when you need to little self care practices like deep breathing yoga journaling and self massage can become a part of your daily routine they will help you acknowledge that your body is doing the best it can and trying to support you even when it doesn't feel like it but i feel like i don't have anyone to actually talk to who will actually understand me maybe you could approach a therapist or a support group where you can meet other folks with disabilities try to look for online forums where you will feel heard by others who are in a similar situation as yours when making new friends Focus on similarities rather than differences. Build communication skills to share what you are going through. Dealing with disability is both an inward journey of getting comfortable in your own skin and an outward journey of acknowledging the barriers that you face in the reality we exist in. This video ends with a yellow slate that reads an Agents of Ish Parodevi Pictures production. Credits Creative Director Paramita Vohra Images Shrija Basu Editor Navin Chandra Counselor Responses Tanya Ginwala with inputs from members of Insight a psychosocial support group for persons with disability Additional Writing Varsha Ramachandran Voices Tohina Vohra Debismita Das